hey guys uh, welcome back hey um, in, uh, in my other video I told you guys I would uh, do a video uh, review like on my little heat fan that's on the top of the stove there um, I thought I'd at least show it to you guys and uh, you guys can take a look at it and there's a ton of different uh, styles of this out here um, I chose this one particularly uh, because of my clearance here uh, at my other home, my old home, we had uh, one of these, not this particular one, but we had one of these uh, heat generated fans on top of our stove there, but it was much taller. It was a two blade fan and it sat much taller. Would not, there was no way it would fit in here. Um, you can see how we have uh, about seven and a half, seven and a quarter inches of clearance from top to bottom there. So, I wanted one of these. I liked it at the other home. It's not like we're talking, you're turning on a giant vent fan or anything here. You're not moving tons of uh, air with these things, but it does help kind of push that heat off the stove and out into the room a little bit. Um, so, my situation, you can see the way I have this set up here. Obviously, I recessed this into an old fireplace. Um, so, two things. Uh, this stove came with an electric blower, which uh, doing my setup the way I did here, it would not fit. I did not have the room for it behind. That's A. B is I have no electrical hookup anywhere near that to be able to plug that into. So um, I wanted one of these to try to draw some of that air, that warm air up out of this box and uh, circulate that out into the room. Again, this isn't going to um, draw huge amounts of air, but I think it's enough that it will bring, or it does bring now that I've used it for a little while, uh, up, up through. It pulls from the back. There's a gap back here behind the stove, and that allows air to come up through. So I'm going to run this fan um, a few more weeks or whatever, and so far I've seen positive... Uh, Positive airflow from it, positive um, aspects with, I, I can feel it further out into the room. Um, so if it continues to perform that way, I think I'm going to get a second one to fit over here so that it pulls from both sides. So I'll get you guys up in here closer and you can kind of take a look at uh, how it is. Um, they tell you to, it's got to be off to the side of your, your uh, chimney pipe. Or your stove pipe there they don't want it uh, in front of it I guess that causes the motors to burn up it draws too much heat from that pipe and from the top of the stove so you've got to offset them like this so I'll pull this up out of here you guys can take a quick look at it all right so here's kind of a close-up now I chose this particular one I'm gonna I'll uh, give you guys the link in the description to uh, Amazon. This particular one came off of Amazon. Runs uh, this this exact one runs sixty eight bucks on there. Uh, there's cheaper. There's more expensive. Just depends on uh, what you guys are willing to spend. I based uh, my decision on this one off of uh, a reviews and a combination of reviews and price. Uh, it was kind of a middle of the road pricing and um, the reviews were good there you can see that if you look it up on the uh, you know the Amazon site um, I believe it was it was over a thousand uh, might be 1200 something like that I forget I'd have to look at it again but uh, the reviews um, out of out of a thousand or twelve hundred whatever it was uh you were sitting at a four star rating on it so based on that and again price uh i thought this was a, a nice one that fit my bill again the low profile like this the uh single blade fans again too tall won't, won't fit up in there so this was uh this was perfect this is what i set out looking for but ultimately i liked uh this design there's there was different designs out there that i seen and um i just this one was the most appealing to me again uh i got this off of uh amazon 
here's your uh, here's your package this is what it comes comes in you can see dual motors 1970 rpms it says 430 cfm max airflow on this now i don't i don't have any way of testing it i don't know if that's accurate or inaccurate i, I have no clue um this isn't like a high-tech test here i'm just going by what works for me um so this is again this is the side of the package here kind of gives you a demonstration of what what happens with and without the fan and then uh gives you some more some more details on it there and we flip the uh box to the other side see it recommends like four inches either side of that stove pipe but uh, i don't have that luxury i'm about maybe two to three inches away from it i could probably squeeze it but i feel like if i go over any further uh the one one side of the fan will be off to uh off basically off the top of the stove and the idea is to pull as much heat off the top of the stove out into the room so uh, I kept mine a little closer, but uh, again, they definitely recommended not putting it um, directly in front of that stovepipe. Uh, I've seen reviews where people complained that the motor burned up, or one of them, or both, by putting it in front like that. And they do warn you of it, so um, that's that. So in the package, you get the fan, and then they give you a little stove thermometer here with it uh, comes included in your package uh, i didn't use it i've got these uh these other ones here the miko's red devil they're bigger i can see them easier uh, i don't have the greatest eyes so from across the room i'm able to look at that at a glance so um my take on it so far so good i have noticed the difference of it being in there and not being in there and uh, I like the idea that it's going to run, I told you in my previous video, uh, my top-down fire building uh, video, that um, this that we don't use this stove all the time. This is not our main source of heat. Uh, this is a backup, emergency use, uh, comfort, enjoyment. So if it comes down to it, uh, you know, and we have to use it, an electric option isn't going to be any good anyway. So this is kind of a perfect thing to uh, to have up there to be able to, to operate and bring that heat out, draw that heat out, and allow it to circulate through the house. So I can, um, my own personal experience with this now, running this fan exactly here, I can notice a difference in temperature probably 10 feet to 12 feet from the stove. Uh, so I, it draws out uh, uh, that much of it, in my opinion. Uh, previous to having it, you could be five feet away and you could feel the heat diminish uh, a little bit, you know. So it does draw the, the air out and circulate it. Again, we're not talking like some giant uh, vent fan that's that's venting a whole house or something like that. We're, if, if you're looking for something like that, don't think these are it. This is literally just to try to push some of that heat off the stove out into your room and allow it to circulate. Uh, they do help. Um, but, again, don't don't be expecting some crazy amount of airflow out of them. Uh, it does what it says it's supposed to do. I can feel the heat further away. Uh, it has helped circulate into the other rooms. Um Again, therefore, I feel like uh, I'm going to run this, uh, you know, a couple more weeks or so. And uh, as long as there's no failures or anything like that, I'm going to get a second one for the other side here. And that should uh, it should create a pretty good uh, airflow from behind the stove and out, which is uh, really what I'm looking for. Okay, guys, uh, I won't uh, take up too much time. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about that real quick. And... Uh, Again, uh, that's on Amazon. I'll leave the link in there. Uh, 68 bucks. You can take a look at it if you want. Nobody's telling you to buy it or anything like that. I am not getting reimbursed for this review. I'm not being paid for this in any way, shape, or form. This is just me kind of sharing with you guys. If you've looked at these kind of fans before and thought about it and were on the fence or something like that, 
Again, I've used the, uh, the single blade fans before. Uh, works good. I needed something smaller, low profile. This fit the bill. And again, based on reviews and price, that's what, uh, that's what I settled on. Um, there's, there's no shortage of variations in these fans. You, you can find tons of them out there. Uh, this may not, this one may not appeal to you. Uh, I, again, visually, I liked this one. I liked the price. I liked the reviews. So there we are. Okay, guys, uh, I'll wrap it up there for uh, today. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.